Well, we've been together now, the fit out teams, uh, the Tylers and the Cladden and even the system wide guys putting the doors in and we've built up a real good rapport and uh, we're just regular meetings and making sure everybody's not working in the same space at the same time. I mean, it is a large site. It's very proactive, like any, any problems, they want it straight away, tr try and solve it, just not, not to hold the job up, just try and get it built as safely and as quickly as possible, really. It's about you know, building, the, building the team spirit and building an attitude where people are, feel confident to speak their mind. And that's pretty much one of my prime objectives when I brief my team in the mornings. You know? To engender that spirit where everyone's working together, you know, working safely and producing a quality product. You can actually, if you look at it, you can see it's made of a high quality grade material. Everything is all over concrete, metal, it's all powder coated so you can see that it's a high quality. Well, you look around, it's, everything's clean. There's nothing to trip over. If, say for example, if one of these doors was open, there'll be a barrier in front of it and there'll be someone standing in front of it. It's, it is a very safe site. We have like a um, benchmark system, which I think is a really good example for, for people. Um, I've never seen that on any other project before. So it's like a standard of work um, on a specific area. I would say this project has taught me to think differently. I've, I originally was on high-rise buildings. You have craneage, you, you have canty decks, you can move things very easily through the projects, often driven by the hoist. In Broadgate, everything's underground. You've got really got to taper how you're going to construct works such that it can be moved about by hand. And you've really got to think how you're going to do those works underground with no lifting equipment. How are you going to get the materials down there? How are you going to get your formwork down there, your false work, your concrete, your rebar? We, we've we installed a set of doors up on the street level. Uh, each leaf is a, a, a ton a piece and a lot of planning, a lot of, uh, a lot of meetings. And we worked all weekends, uh, got the door installed. By Monday dinner time, we had it working, finished, signed off with the client of Crossrail and, and Lango Rorts and um, managed to walk away. It's, it's quite, a, quite a major milestone for us. We've got some big um, LV switch gear where doing at the moment, um, running some big cables in and getting that powered up for Crown House. So we're sort of working in conjunction with them a lot at the moment, meeting their needs. I believe we, on this project, so the graduate programme came here because this was a project for innovation and for doing things differently. So platforms we're standing on now was all precast. The methods we used in Broadgate, the precast over there, the concrete top shutters, top-down construction, we, this was a very innovative project and it allowed us to show our capabilities as a business. It is nice, to say. I've been here four and a half, five years now to sit from ground up or ground down, whatever way you want to look at it, um, and it's coming together as a station now. It's, it's nice to see. Um, it's kind of amazing, you know, you walk in, you sit for the first time, um, same with, with the precast, the ceilings that we're putting in at Moorgate in a Broadgate ticket hall, and when you walk past them, you look up. They, they are amazing. Um, it's not something you see every day in other stations and I'm you know, proud to be a part of it. Well I take the view, I try to take an overview of the whole project and you look at it and, you, and I look at it because I've been here two years now. To me, you know, we're all stakeholders in it. It's, uh, you know, we are the client really as well. We will use this station, you know I mean, my kids will use it and hopefully their kids too and on and on. And it's, uh, I think it's a wonderful project and I uh, can't wait for the train to start running. <laughs>